I've been lost far too long. Hey everybody, this is going to be a special episode about the missing through hiker David O'Sullivan. I'm right now in Idlewild and we're going to retrace the last steps and the last places that we can confirm he was before he disappeared. I've been running round in circles chasing my tail and lost my way seeking shelter in different corners never finding a place to stay somehow ended up here on the ground Brother, help me up, I've fallen down Well, I'm outside of uh, Idlewild Inn, and this is the last hotel that we know David stayed in. He checked in April 5th and checked out April 7th. And we know he stayed in the winter room, and let's actually go check that out right now. So this right here, the room called Winter, is the last known place we know where David slept. This is the post office where David went in to try to pick up his package that was actually sent back to Amazon. He did sign the logbook at the post office. This is his last known signature that we can confirm, that was confirmed by his mother. So this is the Ida Wild Library where David sent his last email to his family and he put his red dot on the world map. So I'm standing outside of Nomad Adventures where we know David spent $69.98. Uh, going by the receipt, they said that he did not get snow equipment. It looks like he probably got clothing items. And he does mention a bandana in one of his emails. Have you ever felt like someone who's meant to be somewhere else? Caught inside a state of mind where nothing is really making sense that's why i've been left here on the ground sister help Hello. me up i've fallen down 
I've been lost far too long. I can't see. I'm trapped in darkness. Life has turned its back on me. It would seem. We were in town, we saw all the locations that we know that David went to. Uh, the last time that we have a report of him is April 7th, 2017. It's now been two years and I'm up on top of the mountain. I see what it's like now. There's so many ways to get on the mountain and this is normally not like this for the PCT too because normally there's like there's just one way to get on the PCT but actually this mountain there's like a half a dozen ways you can pick to get onto the mountain it's just it's so vast and you can easily just lose a trail I really want people to do if they see anything out of place why they're on this mountain or even it could be even possible he made it further but if you see anything out of place, please, if you see any type of gear, anything that looks human made, do not touch it. Please take a screenshot of it with your phone. Try to get the longitude latitude. If you can't get that, try to get the mile marker at least. And then go to David O'Sullivan's Facebook page and let them know. And there's so many people right now actively searching for David. Uh, still, nobody's given up hope in finding David. I haven't given up hope in finding David. There's so many people that care about David and we want to bring David home. We want to bring him home to his family and to his mother. They're actually still doing search parties now and I think you can actually go to their website and just stay up to date on what's going on and maybe they'll have ways to help in the future of how we can find David and bring him home too. But there's just so many wonderful people that are just taking their time, uh, just volunteering to help try to find David up on the mountain. David definitely has a special place in my heart. I first learned about David last year, I believe it was in March and I instantly was just totally touched. He was a young kid that he was 25 and he had all these dreams to do the PCT and he seemed really motivated and excited and I could tell just by reading his emails and everything that he was a very intelligent, caring guy who loved his family. David will always have a special place in my heart and I hope we can do everything we can to find David. For the hikers, not just the PCT hikers, but all hikers, when you go onto a trail, especially when you probably might not have cell service and stuff like that, let everybody know as detailed plan as possible. Even if they're a stranger, say, hey, my name is so-and-so, I'm going up so-and-so trail, and this is my plan. Give a very detailed plan. You can even ask them to take a picture of you or something like that. And also just write your family and say, hey, this is my plan too, and let them know what's going on. Try to let multiple people know where you are, what your plan is gonna be, what trail you plan to take. And if you plan to deviate that, try to let somebody know what your new plan is because there's PCT throws trees and everything else at you that you may actually wanna to try to do a different route. And I understand that completely. The other thing is there is no reason not to have an inReach or another device that can track your movement. Cell service is so spotty and doesn't work in so many places and it's so easy to slip and everything else. If you look at the trail conditions right now, it's just the mountain is covered in snow. Even if you only turn it on once or twice a day, that could help narrow a location to say, hey, you're in this area. I mean, ask for it for Christmas. There's no reason if your family says they're worried and your aunt or uncle's like, oh, well, all right, is it gonna be safe out there? You should mention like, hey, well, for Christmas, please buy me this inReach and make sure I don't go without it if you're worried about money. But there's no excuse for how much we spend on other things or food in town or staying in a hotel. There's no reason you shouldn't have an inReach. 